Hello, my Soka universe. I don't believe it myself, but I'm finally getting to it. The league uh, jersey review, long overdue, I understand. But hey, this is the jersey review with probably the best background ever. Um, I decided to not Frenchify it even more because I think there's enough French on there. You have the World Cup winning jersey 98, you have the Euro winning jersey 2000. Senegal, Mali, Cameroon, all largely French-speaking countries. We have a Brazil shirt up there, which is also related to France, because um, many Brazilians at least used to play there. So I think it looks fine and all the other stuff, uh, all the other countries, and there is some French connection, surely, there. I am wearing for this video my PSG 95-96 uh, jersey. This is the one that I totally forgot I should have put somewhere here. Uh, if you ask me which jersey would have would I have replaced, maybe even this Barcelona jersey, although it's uh, special, maybe the England. Could be the Argentina, but I really like. I wanted to have some Argentina on there. So yeah, there, there, there you go. I feel bad about it because this is an awesome jersey. It's one that I wanted to have uh, in the nineties. I was a huge PSG fan, and I'm starting again to find my love. But Neymar makes it so hard on me. But yeah. I'm going to do this review the same way as I did the reviews for the other four leagues that we had so far. Um, meaning, I put the teams together, um, ranked them by the standings of last season, so uh, 1 to 20. Then I went um, 1 goes in the first video, 2 goes in the second video, 3 goes in the fourth video, four, uh, third video, 4 goes in the fourth video, then 5 goes in the fourth video. 6 goes in the third video, 7 goes in uh, the second video, and 8 goes in the first video and go like that. So we get 5 teams in each video. Um, and of course there is the big team, the champions of last year in the first video. That was to be expected, PSG, hence I'm wearing this PSG jersey. And we'll get 4 uh, two mid um, mid-table teams and 2 that were to the bottom of the table last year, although one of these is actually quite a big name. And then throwing them together, I sorted them alphabetically just to round things out. Uh, as it happens, two of those teams that I'm uh, talking about are still in the relegation battle, uh, quite threatened to be honest, but um, only one was already last year there. So without further ado, I'm already talking three minutes. Let's get started. We'll start with Ice Monaco. Uh, who is this one? team that was down there last season that you would not expect there. Monaco got a couple of kits and uh, they have to say the first time I saw them and I still feel like that. Yes, the classic diagonal uh, look is there, but the diagonal is very, very, very flat. And that's something I did not like from the beginning. Everything else on this jersey actually looks quite nice. I like the sponsor, it's quite high. Although French jerseys, if you look them in the league, there's a whole lot more sponsors on there than you see on these pictures. But I will go off these pictures now. I really like this Korean style color. I even like the lozenge pattern in there, although it reminds me of a little bit of Bavaria or Bayern, but that one is twisted. So uh, it gives it a kind of this a royal feel to it. The new Monaco crest, um, which we had already last season, and I think a few before is nice. Um, I think that the sleeves, the red sleeves, should have also this pattern. Uh, they look a little bit detached. But my biggest, biggest, biggest gripe with this jersey is that. Yes, the classic pattern is somewhat there, but it should start way up on the shoulder and go down and not somewhere around uh, mid-torso. And for that reason, I, there's a lot of things that I like on this, on, on this one, but I think I, it's just the pattern is not there for that reason. I give this only six stars. They have released a um, jersey to commemorate 20 years, Kappa, whatever, that is very much based on the uh, Kappa style from 2000. 
that Monaco kit looks awesome. I have to say, I don't think it is, was worn uh, on field, that's why it doesn't feature in my review. But go on footy headlines and you see all my most of my pictures, not all of my pictures are from footy headlines. Great web page, you gotta check this one out. Um, there you can see it, maybe I have put it in now. This is a really awesome one, but I won't rate it because I think it hasn't been worn on the picture. I was wrong. The so-called Combat 2020 kits actually were not only released, but they were also worn in match so i'm very happy to be able to rate this because these are absolutely gorgeous jerseys this is the monica look that i was looking for maybe a little bit less red you can move the set the sash a little bit further up but other than that absolutely gorgeous i love also um that they have the sponsor in red and white up there uh super classic super super classic look i have to say um even down to the, you know, in 2000, this look was not uh, all that common, but nowadays uh, this reminds me of almost the good times, if you want to say. Um, some of the best jerseys worn in league uh, this season. I'm gonna give this, you know, it's, do you see the ghosted Kappa logo on there? I love this. I'm gonna give this 10 stars. The away jersey uh, takes the same lozenge pattern all over. Uh, but now is it black with grey and some golden accents. That looks classy, I have to say. Does it look very Monaco? Maybe not, but other than that, I think it looks classy. It, it gives the jersey some extra special feel to it that I actually do like. I'm not sure about the sleeves, but I think, yeah, uh, you know, they're again a little bit short, uh, longer here and very short on top. Uh, but I have, have, have said there's something really appealing about this jersey. Is it my most favorite jersey? No, but I think um, it looks classy, it looks Monaco, it looks uh, slightly expensive. So for that reason I'm, I'm willing to give this 7 stars. And the third kit, yeah, does the same thing in light blue. Marseille colors, Monaco, that I'm not so sure that this works. I think that a white kit would have worked better. To be honest with you, I'm not sure the light blue. Um, yeah, it gives, but doesn't feel quite right. I mean, I like it. The light blue and then the dark blue applications, everything, monochromatic crest, of course. Um, look how weird the front actually looks on this one. I think the same is true for the, for, for the black kit, but it's not as obvious. Where shall I go with this one? Uh, it's overall pleasing, but it is not Monaco. So that's why we are in the four to five range. Since I like the color com com combination, I'm gonna give this five, but uh, it's very close to giving it four. We're only moving a little bit further along the Côte d'Azur to get to Nîmes, uh, Le Crocodile. No, I know it, I thought it was a, cra uh, a dragon, but it's a crocodile, and that makes me love this even more. Crocodiles probably of uh, living animals, my favorite. So, uh, there are two French teams, honestly, that I should get jerseys uh, just, just because of the animals they are associated with. One is Nîmes, for sure. Um, and I have to say, this Nîmes home jersey is really nice. Yes, lots of sponsors on there, but just look at the base design. You have the red, and then you have the scale pattern from the crocodile. Oh, how much I love this scale pattern in there. Uh, you also have the city of Nîmes, there is a crocodile on there, and then in the, in, in the crest as well. I think there's, this is really, really pleasing. The sponsors may be too huge, yes. But this is a really nice jersey, I have to, have, I have to, have to say. Um, how much shall I give this one? Uh, yeah, the sponsor puts it a little bit down, but I, this is eight stars to me. Uh, the away jersey, similar design, uh, the pattern now is, you know, the, on the previous one the pattern was black on red, which looks nice, uh, black on white it does not quite fit with the um, club's colors, which are red, but it looks really nice overall, it's the same design, I like the red sponsors, it's still very pleasing, I have to say, um, I'm also gonna give this 8 stars, and the third is probably my fav favorite of the uh, three because here the red pops so much this is super nice I have to say I really love what Nim is doing here uh, Puma is doing an excellent job with these kids I actually now that I see them I want to have them I know corona crisis blah 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 I have to check out the store uh, the other team uh, we'll see in the, tomorrow's video I'll let you know as well 
what I'm doing. A really, really nice kit. I'm gonna give this nine stars. This is one of the nicest ones in this league uh, season. And with that, we're going to the champions PSG. We already saw the home kit in my Champions League jersey review. Link up there. Um, I have to say, this is the closest we got to a proper PSG kit, which is what this is called the HDR design with the red, like Ajax, just with blue sides. Almost there. I actually have to say, I like it uh, overall. Um, I just wish that the white was a little bit thinner and the red a little bit wider. Even if you have just a center strap, I think this would work fine. I am very pleased to say that next season, if there is a next season given all the Corona cards, but I'm sure there will be, uh, PSG jerseys will look like that. Again, slightly different color though, they're going for the 50-year uh, look, so they're going way back uh, to the first design. This one still looks good, I have to say. Um, I also like that the new sponsor has a certain class to it, and for that reason, the color scheme anyway, very, very, very pleasing. The only thing, if you see this in match, it looks like a white stripe. You don't see the red that, that much, and for that reason, I give it only eight stars. The away kit, yeah, it's the Jordan kit. I honestly don't like it. Uh, it's this very bright red and then with black accents. I actually, if this were blue accents, I think I could live with it more, but I don't understand quite the black. Uh, and also the, the color stopping here, uh, where the raglan sleeves come in, it's just not my thing. Even the crest looks weird with, you know, black and the, the red popping out. Uh, the best thing that this jersey to me has going for it is the Jumpman logo. And yeah, that the red kids have been... I think PSG and red kits makes a whole lot of sense, but then put some blue on there and not do the black thing. That to me develops the jersey and for that reason, I know it will sell like crazy, but I don't like it. Three stars only. But I love, I absolutely love the third kit. Um, why do I love it? For first of all, white makes a whole lot of sense. I always like off-center stripes and double stripes even better full color crest in there and what i absolutely love is it's a reference to uh the first nike kits uh that were made for psg and nike and psg have one of the longest if not the longest standing cooperation in all of europe this jersey just looks class the polo color great sponsor fits in nicely i think it's even in a competition it doesn't even go into the um, um, band here. Uh, Nike logo is the old style logo that I have here too, so that makes for a nice look. The only bone of contention is that there's this diagonal shadow striping, which runs a little bit counterintuitive to uh, the um, a band, the vertical band here. So uh, if that one was also vertical, I think this would be uh, an A plus jersey. This is still a. 10 stars, I talk already in my Champions League church, it's one of the nicest kids this season, absolute favorite of mine. And then earlier this year PSG also released a fourth kit, again with a Jumpman logo, this was slated or was at least rumored to be worn a lot in the Champions League knockout stages, so far they have not worn it. Um, they have worn the home jersey and the and the white jersey, and I think it was rather here down to the squad. The squad said, we're doing well in this uh, blue jersey, we don't want to wear black again. So yeah, it has been worn only a few times. Um, I have to say, black, if this was navy blue with that uh, strap down, this would be a perfect frost jersey in many regards. Um, but even though, yeah, I do like it, it has the same design as the um, home jersey, it has the jumpman on there. The PSG crest looks a lot better with uh, just the white outline uh, on black. I have to say it as well, much better than the red one. Of course, full color, I would prefer more. Uh, it's a decent look. I mean, the French flag, you, you're going all out. Um, is it better than the home jersey? I don't think so. It's not. It doesn't scream as much PSG as a fourth jersey. I think it's a nice one. And the, unfortunately, we are in the fourth jersey world. I will do a video on all these special fourth jerseys have been released in Serie A, uh, Bundesliga and so on. This will come, um, if not this week, the next week. Definitely a big project of mine. 
Doesn't look bad. Could look better. Could look more PSG, but I'm still giving this seven stars. And then we're moving to one fallen and now rising giant with Stade de Reims. Stade de Reims is one of the few teams, I think the only three, that were in two or more European Cup finals and never have won the trophy. They were in the first one, they were in the fourth one, both times losing to Real Madrid. So huge name on the international stage from former years. Umbro delivered a super nice looking Reims home shirt. Much better than last season's because this time even the back is red. So it's, it's, uh, it has a very much an Arsenal look. But with the white um, polo color, looks actually really, really nice. I love the crest, has some good uh, classy feel to it. Note the French flags on the sleeves and also the weird umbro pattern, which gives it a little bit um, a different feel to it. Uh, you know, the sleeves look more modern than the rest of the jersey does, but I think the overall feel of this jersey I really like. Um, I'm gonna go for an eight stars look here. The away jersey is surprising to me that this is actually a blue jersey in two shades of blue. One is like kind of steely blue and then a very dark, also dark steely blue with a little bit of gold in there. The nicest uh, reference is there and all most of the jerseys we look here had some center stripe. Here this one has the Fleur de Lis, which is of course uh, I think a reference to the city of Reims and but also the Champagne region as far as I know. Gotta check out on my French regions again. Ah, it's been a long time. Very pleasing jersey. The only complaint I have, what does blue have to do with the colors of Stade de Reims? That's probably the one thing. I actually, let, let, let me look up if I can find any, anything on the colors of the Champagne. Well, blue and white are the colors of Reims, so I guess it makes some sense to have uh, the colors chosen this way. It looks classy, it is very similar to what I want to say for Monaco, for, um, you know, it does not feel uh, Reims, have a full color crest on there, which almost looks a little bit like a foreign object, but it looks pretty cool overall. Um, I think seven stars, just the colors are not quite convincing me. And then they have a third jersey with, again, lozenge pattern, uh, very similar to Monaco, but it makes a whole lot of sense. White, they again have the French flags uh, here on the sides, um, but it's nothing special. That's the downside the side of it. I, I actually think it's borders boring. Uh, for that reason, I think if the pattern was a little bit more prominent, or uh, you know, it looks like a vest over. That's what I don't like here. For that reason, I'm only gonna give five stars. Although the, the, the idea I like, but it just it's just something. It's just too plain for it. There was the the previous uh, jer jersey, although I didn't like the uh, colors in connection with the runs, was a lot more exciting than this one. And we'll finish up with Toulouse, into the stupid uh, Anglophone joke here. Uh, they have not been winning a lot, let's put it that way. Last year I loved Toulouse jerseys. Uh, this year they're about as bad, nah, not, not, hor not horrible, but you know, clearly the form is dipping. And I have to say, the purple is fine, I even like the red accents, but what, what about the black sleeves and the black patch here? That I, that looks fine foreign to me. It just doesn't look right. The Toulouse Crest is a really nice one. Lots of sponsors on there. Uh, but overall it leaves me wanting a lot. I, four stars. Let's not waste much time on it. The away jersey is much much better by Homa. Both jerseys by Homa of course. Um, but still using the same template. Now you have grey sleeves. But this one looks more like it. Am I excited? No, it doesn't excite me much. I um, think I'm gonna give this also five stars. I'm sorry to lose. Um, not the best kids. Well, that's it. Video one is in the books. Uh, let me know if you agree with my ratings. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I wanna hear how you like the jerseys that I've been talking about, um, especially, so drop me a line there. Um, 
like my channel, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will talk to you tomorrow with part 2. Up until then, au revoir. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm gonna wish you a very good day. Bye.